hello welcome to my channel life of yana please like subscribe and comment share if you like today we're going to use the beetle on station and we're going to use the silk cord oh i'll use this one we're going to use the silk cord we're going to use two of them the silk cord has a needle on it which we need so I've already unwrapped one. Let's go ahead and unwrap the other one. I want to unwrap it completely off. We're not going to use, use it all, but we can just save whatever's left for another project. Okay, so we've got these two. There we are, here's the needle. We're just going to leave the needle on the cord. We are also going to use some black leather cord. I'm going to use these shank buttons, one of these shank buttons. Look how nice it is. Look at that. As you can tell, I bought a different type of video um, recorder. That way I'm not upside down with it. Also, we're going to use these beads. These are the rosemary beads. <laughs> or not rosemary, rosary beads. And this is the pink quartz. And this is the amethyst. I'm also going to accent it, the, the beginning and end, with these little crystals. So, let's put this here. So, I did buy some equipment. I bought some lighting some new equipment so that I can film the right way instead of upside down. So with the, with the, um, with the leather, we are going to cut about, let's see, because we need to tie this. Okay, let me see. I, I'm probably going to go overboard on the leather because, you know, I'm new. I'm a beginner jeweler. So I'm going to use, let's see, that's 10 inches. Here's a ruler that I'm measuring. And 20, 20. I think I'm going to probably use about 25 inches of this leather yes so I'm going to use 25 cut it oh oh my gosh I'm using these scissors that always snap my hand of course I pinched myself right here ouch that hurts okay so I am back recording so with the shank button, with this, we're, well, first of all, we're going to tie a knot, and just a regular knot, no fancy knot, just a regular knot. Just tie a regular knot. There we go. But before we tighten it up completely, we want to make sure our shank button fits through it. Okay, which one shall I use? I'm going to use... Hmm. Wow, which one? I'm going to use the Indian head. Yeah, I'll use the Indian head. I like these buttons. Well, it's a shank button. These buttons are really used for jeans. You want to make sure the shank button could fit through the loop before you tighten it. So it's weird though because I'm like, do people still act like that? Put this through the loop. Oh. Okay. So it fits through the loop. So let's go ahead and tighten that. Okay. Let's tighten that. Okay, then we're going to take our beetle on. We're going to take this 
wing out. No, I'll leave that because we want to leave that on there so that the, um, what is this called? The plastic, it's not really plastic, it's, it's um, laminate, so the laminate won't break. We're going to slip the loop over there. We're going to put the wing nut back on, tighten it up. Okay, we're going to tighten it up. As you can see, there's some company here, but I can't let that stop me filming. So, just want to tighten that up. Okay. Why do I feel I'm doing this wrong? I think I am doing it wrong. Oh, let me untighten it again. <laughs> this is a live and learn type deal because we, I'm just trying this. You know, I'm a beginner. I haven't used this beetle on station that much. Okay, there, now it looks proper. Now it looks proper. So I put it in between. Yeah, it's tight. And we're gonna grab this end. I'll get you! And we're just going to come down here. We don't need to take this washer completely off. We just want to open it up a bit put these put each cord right beside the whoops right beside the screw here and then we want to tighten this washer we want to tighten the wing nut here let's pull that as tight as possible boy it's like i need three hands here okay so we want to tighten that up okay there it is it's nice and tight okay so, these two silk cord strings that we took off, that we unwrapped. Hold on, let me tell the children to be quiet. Okay, so I had to tell the children to keep it down because the children have some friends over here and my daughter has a friend over here too. So, before I get distracted, we're going to take the two ends of the silk cord and tie them together. Wow, I didn't even tie this. I don't know how it got stuck, but suddenly they're tied. I didn't tie it, so I'm gonna go ahead and tie this because I don't want it to fall apart, especially when I know I didn't tie it. So, I'm gonna tie it. There you go. Okay. So, you wanna put each string on either side of the beetle on. And we're going to take one side of the cord, the silk cord, put it under these two leather strips here. And we're going to find the middle where we tied the two together. You see these strings are long, so here it is. We are going to put it in the middle, hold it with your finger as much as possible and you want to tie it again which is going to be uh, just a regular tie it's going to be a little hard here because we've got to bring the string through again okay here we go oh, get back underneath there go on underneath there there we go stay underneath the beginning is always the hardest, as usual. Oh, goodness. Okay. Now we're going to tie it again. Going to make another regular tie. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You see how hard this is to tie. Okay. Going to tie it again. Push it up as close to that knot as possible. Don't worry about the string hanging down because that's going to be the bottom. Okay, so now that we've got that established, we are going to start with these little beads. Okay, 
So now that we've tied the knots, we are going to get the right hand uh, cord, silk cord, pull it under the leather strap here, pull it over, bring it all the way out. And then we're going to do the same thing on the left side. You want to pull it over. Okay. Okay, that's good. Push that up. So I'm going to use glass beads kind of to start out the project. So we're going to use the bead. What's well, going to happen is we're going to put the bead, we're going to thread it both ways, one going one way, the other going the opposite way. Well, let me find this tiny little hole here. Oh my goodness, here it is. Okay, you want to thread that. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was tough. And then you want to grab the other silk cord, put the needle through. There we go. There we go. You're going to pull it. Oh. Okay, so let me pull this through on this side. I don't want to tangle it. But I'm going to pull it through. The left side. And I was like, I'm pretty sure that's not okay. <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> My goodness. This is a lot of string to work with, so just be patient and it'll work out. So I hope it works out. Let's put it that way. It should work out. There we go. It should sit right in, in the middle there. There it is. It is sitting in the middle. Why do I feel this is wrong? Again, I'm a beginner here. Why do I feel this is wrong? Because this black cord shouldn't be around. Shouldn't be around. Let me see. Let me pull this. Okay. Shouldn't be around the bead. And she like we went to get a beer. Because Colin got tickets for Kyle. Oh my goodness. Wait, does it go this way then? I'm getting all mixed up here. Oh, okay. Just bear with me, we'll do this mistake together. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Let me just pull this up a little bit. Figure this out. We'll figure it out together. How about that? Okay, let's see. We'll figure this out together. How about that? Okay, hold on. Let me see. Okay, hold on. Let me figure out what I did wrong here. What did I do wrong? Maybe I didn't do anything wrong. Maybe. Hold on. Okay, it's fine. So before we do anything else, we always have to remember, pull the um, leather cord up. You want to pull the silk string through. Pull it through. You want to pull this silk string through the other side. Otherwise your work is going to fall apart and it won't stay. So we're going to use two, this time we're going to use two of these little bead, glass bead crystals here. So let's use two. Okay, so there's, oh, Jesus. Let me do one at a time, okay? Let's do two. There's one. And there's two. I'm going to pull it through. Get the other cord or the other needle. Push it through. One, two. 
Oh. Okay. One, two. Okay, where am I? Where am I? Okay. One, two. Yeah. Pull it through. There we go. Let's take our time. Pull it through. Don't let it knot up. Pull it through. Pull it through. More pulling it through. Okay. And you want to pull the other side through. Let's pull the other side through. Let's pull this through. Oh, that's how it's happening. Okay. That's going to sit through there. And again, as always, you want to push this through. Pull the silk cord through the black, uh, black leather cord. Pull it through. You want to pull it through on the left side. And this time we're going to use three beads. Three of the glass beads. Let's do three. Put them in. So there's one. Okay, we've got the three beaded. We're going to use the other needle. Put it through. One, two, three. You want to push it through. Oh my goodness. And this is where I mess myself up. Because it's not all the way pushed through on the black. There we go. There we go. So let's do this again. Put the needle through. One. One. Oh gosh, come on. Okay, let's push this through. Okay. Make sure it doesn't knot or tangle. Okay. Okay, there we go. So we've got the three there. We've got it started. Looks pretty good, right? Again, we've got to put the string over and under or under and over. I said it wrong. Okay, now, what design are we going to do? I haven't thought about the design. I just thought about the colors. But let's get a design going on here. But I don't want these to be crooked. Okay. So, I think I'm going to make a little something here. So, I'm going to grab an amethyst, a purple amethyst. Put it through. And I'm going to grab a rosary bead and put it through. Okay. And then I'm going to thread this through. So let's make some type of pattern here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, dig the wheel. Okay. There we go. Okay. And once again, make, make sure. Oh, my goodness. Let me put these stones together. Okay. So you want to pull. It doesn't matter which one you pull first, the left or the right. You just want to pull it through the beads, the, the silk cord, 
Let's pull these through the beads. Let's not tangle up. Okay. Let's not tangle up. There we go. Let us not tangle up. This is tangled up. Let me take this out. Okay, there we go. I twist it. So I had to untwist it. put this through okay so I decided three wasn't big enough so I went ahead and did four of the glass beads because I didn't like the way that two of these sat so I put four glass beads here and you could put as many as you like uh, this is just the way that I'm gonna start it out there we go. So I am using, let's get back over here. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay, so let me put this through, put it through one. I like this, this is also called macrame. I like doing this. I know this video is already kind of long, but I'm a beginner, so I am slow, slow. One day I'll get faster, but right now we're not going to worry about it. So let's put this through here. Okay. Got my rosary bead. I also want to try and make a rosary. I want to do some more rosary um, bracelets. They were fun to make too. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Careful now, careful. Okay. So you want to hold it, push it through. Grab the other side, push it through. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to move the camera. Let's set it in there. Yes. You know, I might, <laughs> I might make this even a little bit. Maybe I should add some more. I think I'm going to add more pink beads. So I'm going to try adding, let's see, four, maybe seven, six, seven. We'll see. Because I don't think. That's still big enough, but let me just see. We're just beginning here. So we can always take it apart. Nothing set in gold. Nothing cemented. Or we could just leave it like that. Let me just... Because, you know, these little beads help us uh, pull out the, the cord, too. You know, I think I'm going to leave it that way. Oh, I already pushed it under. Don't forget to push it under. And then I'm going to try the rotation a little bit differently. So let's try the different rotation. I'm going to do pink. The rosary bead. I think I'm going to keep the rosary bead in the middle. And the purple, the amethyst. Look in my comments and I will tell you all about these beads. Come on, where's you at? Where's the hole? There we are. Okay. So there are some people over here. The little girl was screaming. She knew I was filming. I think she wanted to be in the film with her loudness. So I finally bought a cord, a charging cord cable for my computer so I think I could start editing my my videos before they were just raw I couldn't edit because you need to have the computer to edit and um, I don't know what happened to my charging cord but I did buy another charging cord finally so I think I'm going to edit this video so that you won't hear her screams 
she was screaming loud. She was invading my space, people. Invading my space. Okay, let's try this. Let's pull it. And let's pull this again. Okay. What do you think? You think I should? What do you think? Well, what do you think? And how big is it going to be on the wrist? Hmm. I think I'm going to change it to two. Yeah. I'm going to change it to two because this isn't quite big enough. Let me change it to two. Let me take out some beads. Actually, I think I'm going to stop here. I'm going to make a part two, of course. And I'm going to take some of these out. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and share the video if you like. See you in part two.